Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video, we'll be doing the review for this Plexter 256GB SSD and the model is M6S, it is M6S and uh, it supports high speeds using SATA 3 interface and as you can see, it supports 6 gigabits per second and it just says true speed over here. I'll also be showing you the benchmarks for this. Uh, before that, let me actually show you what's written on the box. And I just want to thank uh, Plexter for providing this unit for review. And as you can see, we have the 256 gigabyte variant. We also get this SSD in 128 or 512 gigabytes. And actually, uh, the DRAM cache is different for 128 gigs, it's 256 uh, megabyte. And for 256, it's 512. And finally, for the 512 gigabytes, we have 768 uh, megabyte of DRAM cache, that's buffer. And it says that uh, here it specifies the read and write speeds. Again, to get the best speeds, you have to make sure that your computer supports SATA 3 interface. And it says for the 128 gig uh, variant, you can get uh, sequential writes up to 300 megabytes. For 256 gigabytes, the one we have, uh, we should get up to 420 megabytes. And for 512, we should get about 440 megabytes. And for sequential reads, it's pretty high. Uh, for all the three models, it's 520, 520, and 520. So that is pretty interesting. Again, we'll be testing this on a Windows 8 uh, PC and we'll check it out. Regarding the warranty, it says that it has three year warranty and operating systems again, it supports Windows, Linux and Mac OS X. So, and the operating temperature is uh, zero to 70 degrees Celsius. So it should be fine even uh, in desktop and even in laptops. So let me actually show you the drive. Let me just break the seals. And uh, SSDs is the best way to get a big boost in your computer. If you are a little bit tech savvy, upgrading from a normal hard drive to a SSD gives you a huge boost. So this is what we get. We get uh, again some pamphlets, give you basic information again what I've told you about limited warranty and even how to install the SSD uh, on your desktop computer. You can also uh, use it on your laptops if you are a little bit tech savvy because it's the same form factor. So let me just show you the drive itself again we have nothing much we just have the drive itself it just says uh, black star and that m6s and here it says that the capacity is 256 gigabytes and actually it's pretty light so i'll be installing this and now show you the benchmarks using this drive and this is a Windows 8 uh, computer and I have put the Plexter SSD and ran this benchmark. This is roadkill. And as you can see, we are getting uh, reads around the 480 to uh, 490 and uh, random writes about 480 or so on this Plexter SSD. Let's move to the next benchmark now. And this is the popular Arto disk benchmark. And here also, as you can see, it is hovering writes around the 430 to 440 mark and reads are going up to about 520 megabytes. And this is the HD tune. So let me just select the Plexter and let's start. And as you can see the results, uh, this is the Plexter SSD. And I'll let it run and I'll show you the results. And here we got an average speed of 338 uh, megabytes per second and burst was around 294. And I also ran the crystal mark and here also we got some pretty decent results but a little bit lower compared to the advertised speeds. Now we'll do this test on a Mac computer. And this is my Mac mini and it's currently running on the stock hard drive that comes from Apple. That's a 5400 RPM hard drive. And uh, to show you that nothing else is running apart from the screen flow app that is recording the screen, nothing else is running. And what I'll do is I'll just try to launch a bunch of apps. For example, we launch Safari, Mail, and Chrome. And let's see how much time does it take. This is Safari, this is Chrome, and this is my Mail. And as you can see, it uh, the Mail app is trying to load, but Chrome is taking a lot of time. Uh, so definitely it's a bit slow uh, when you use, uh, what do you say, the normal hard drive and it did take a couple of seconds. And when I load heavy apps, for example, uh, Final Cut Pro, etc., it does take about 10 to 15 seconds sometimes to, to launch them. And now again, we'll do the same thing uh, with the SSD. But before that, let me just close these apps. And I'll also, we'll just benchmark this uh, drive 
This is the standard hard drive that we get uh, on Mac mini from Apple and I'll just run this benchmark. And as you can see, we are getting a write speed of about 85, 89. It's all, it, it, it'll touch slightly above uh, 90. And as you can see, let it run one more time. And we'll do this test again with this Plexter M68 SSD and we'll compare uh, the results. So as we can see, uh, it is averaging around the writes close to about 90 uh, megabytes per second and also reads are close to that. I've seen a max of write of about 94 at times. So we'll conclude that it's around 90 megabytes per second with the normal hard drive that ships with the Mac mini. Now what I'll do is I'll swap the drive and I'll put the SSD and we'll do the same test and see how it performs. Now I have installed the Plexter SSD on this Mac mini. Let me just show you if I go to about the Mac. As you can see, we have that 256 gig SSD that's from Plexter. And again, uh, nothing else is running apart from screen flow. And again, we'll do the same thing that is launch these three apps that's Safari, Mail and the Chrome web browser. So I'll do it quickly. And if you notice, it is way quicker. Everything is already loaded. Uh, so it is way quicker on this Safari is also there here as you can see all of these three apps loaded pretty quickly due to the SSD and we'll just quit this and also we'll actually now and now I'll again run this uh, disk speed test and uh, we'll select our SSD and we'll just hit start and right away as you can see write speeds are going above 400 megabytes per second and let it run it one more time and read almost we are getting about 470 megabytes around the that mark let it run again and this is the second time again it's running writes i'm seeing around 410 and reads again about the 470 mark so definitely it is almost four and a half times uh, faster compared to the normal hard drive that you get on the mac mini so by using this Plexter M6S SSD, you can significantly speed up things on your Windows computers as well as Mac computers. So thank you for watching this video regarding the Plexter 256GB drive. You can get more info regarding Plexter at Plexter.com. Thank you. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.